Hello friends, so today we are going to see how to perform frequency distribution in R. Okay, to perform frequency distribution, we have this data you are able to see on the screen. We will need to find the frequency distribution for this data. Okay, to find the frequency distribution, first we need to enter this data into R, right? So, how are we going to enter? You can use C function or a, your scan function. So, here we are going to use what? Your C function. So, this data is what a score for the uh, score of your students. Okay. So, I am going to create a variable called score and I am going to store the values into that score using scan function. So, sc score scan. Okay. Now, it is asking me to enter what first value. Okay. So, either you can uh, provide the value in a console or you can write the values in your uh, R script and then execute this code okay now it is asking me to enter the next 80 uh, 81st value i don't want to enter so i'm going to go to the console and i'm going to press enter button it says what read 80 items so we have a data of a uh, 80 score scored by whom the student suppose okay so the length function is going to return you the length of what your score or the length of data okay so an assignment symbol length score it will store what how many data items are there in your uh, variable so 80 values are there in your score variable so n assignment symbol length is your function name and in score we stored these 80 values right so the length of that score is what 80 okay now in theoretically how we perform frequency distribution first we created a classes right then we put a telemark and then the frequency okay same way here we're going to create a classes then we're going to find that tally marks and then we're going to write the frequency so here we are using cut and table function uh, which is there in r uh, using that function we're going to find the frequency distribution okay so we have a variable called bins okay in that bins we're going to store your classes okay so the sequence is a function which is going to return you the sequence okay now what are the parameters in your sequence seq is your function name okay the long form of your seq is what sequence which is going to generate a sequence so first parameter is what a starting value of a sequence next parameter is what the ending value of sequence and if you want to increment that value by any number you can write that also so here the starting value is what zero and the ending value is what hundred and i want to increment this uh, sequence by what 10 so i'm going to run execute this code okay then i want to print the sequence so now you'll be able to see that the sequence start from what zero and it ends with what 100 and it is incremented by 10 so for example 0 plus 10 10 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 10 40 likewise okay then we're going to use a cut function now what we want to cut we want to cut that score into what your bins means what we are going to perform that tally mark wala step okay so the marks assignment symbol cut score bins it is going to cut the whole score uh, data into the bins so we have successfully uh, cut the score into the bins and we stored this data into what marks okay now we want to print that marks in a tabular format so we're going to use the table function to print the data into tabular format so table marks now you will you will be able to see the frequency distribution 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 70 to 80 80 to 90 and 90 to 100 okay so now this table is what it is in a horizontal format right now suppose you want a in a vertical format you're going to write a function called transform so transform in bracket table in bracket marks it is going to transform your table into vertical format now you'll be able to see that your data in a vertical format right first column is for marks and second column is for frequency 
this how you going to perform the frequency distribution in r what we did first we entered the data in one of the variable here your variable is what score after that what we did we cut the data into or we define a classes or class intervals so your first class is what 0 to 10 so that's why we started the sequence with what 0 and ended it with what 100 okay and we uh, each sequence is incremented by what 10 so 0 10 20 30 40 this sequence has been generated after that what we going to generate we are going to use a cut function for your main frequency distribution. So, cut function is going to cut what score into what bins. Okay. And that data we stored where in a marks. Then we uh, apply the table function to show your data in a tabular format. That is what your marks and uh, your frequency. Okay. So, the table function is going to return you the output in a horizontal format. So, the transform function is going to represent the data in a vertical format. Okay. This is about your uh, frequency distribution. Thank you.